Tim here. Today I'm going to take a look at the TrekPod Go. This is a combination tripod, monopod, walking stick, and it's uh, something that I've used for about five years now. I've taken it down the Grand Canyon, I've hiked up mountains all over Arizona, I took it with me to Florida when I was viewing the final space shuttle launch, and I've taken it overseas to the Middle East and it's worked great for me every time and one of the benefits one of the things that I really like about it that the reason I've used it so much is because of the size it comes in a, a bag just like this very compact uh, the parts to it break down into I think three or four pieces and it's very light as well this is something that you can put in your your luggage if you're traveling um, or if you're just out and about, you can carry it with you with the strap that comes with it. So let's take a look at it. We're going to open it up and see what's inside and how it all fits together and how it works. Okay, so it comes in this pretty compact bag. Now I bought this, like I said, about five years ago. So there may be some changes that they've made to the product. But you have four different pieces. And they're pretty simple to put together. Your top piece has a tube that slides in. And tightens up. Your bottom piece screws into the middle piece. tightens up and then they slide in and they give you marks if you want to have different heights and then they also tell you where not to go past and then this just tightens up. Now at the top you've got a rare earth magnet and your camera has another a magnet that screws into the bottom of it where the tripod mount and it, so your camera actually just pops right on here and the magnet really holds it quite very tight but if you're not if you you know if you want a little extra protection this clips on to both magnets and holds them you have a foam pad and a strap here and this really is coming handy handy when out hiking um, put your wrist through it and hold on to the foam pad Now at the bottom, and you can tell that this has gotten quite a bit of use, especially out hiking, there's a Velcro strap that holds three legs together, and then they open up to use it almost as if you would like a tripod. So let's take another look at it uh, just with a camera mounted on it. Okay, so I've got a small camera mounted on this tripod. And you can see that underneath the camera there is a magnet that screws into the tripod mount. And that holds this on to this other magnet on the trek pod. And like I said, if you're not happy, if you're, you know, want a little bit more security, you can just slip that on and that holds them together as well. But I've, really, I've never had the camera come off. These magnets are very strong. And so I've never worried about that. And so let's just take a look at it. Now this definitely does not replace a, a good tripod. Um, and there have been occasions when I've been outside, especially on a mountain, where it has gotten windy. And so this isn't as, as heavy and, and doesn't give you as much, um, oh. It's not as sturdy as a, as a larger tripod, um, but it is great for just setting the camera. You know, if you're taking group shots, you need something to hold the camera. Um, but as well, I've used it, like I said, as a, as a walking stick, um, you know, going down the Grand Canyon, and it worked great. There are uh, rubber tips 
on the uh, on the bottom of it, and they've you know they were great on rocks, and, and you know if this thing's been in riverbeds and it's gotten wet, and it's, it's it's really worked great. You can adjust the the angle of the camera with this screw or with this little knob right here and move the camera all over around, you know, if you want to point it at different angles. Another thing about the camera is that it does come with different magnets. A black magnet for heavier cameras or heavier devices. And then there's the silver magnet, which I'm using right now on this camera. And I've got it set, you know, all the way down. If I unscrewed this, I can raise it up. If I unscrew this, I can raise it up again. So it can be quite tall. And I'll put the link to the, the website for the company if you want to go see all the specs. Uh, but I'd highly recommend it. It's very good quality, and it's served me well through quite a, quite a few different uh, adventures. So I hope this has been helpful, and if you need more information, again, I'll put the link for the company's website down below.